guys, welcome to the Myrtle Beach Art Museum's Kids Art Online. This week is going to be our teen art program, and we're going to be doing a collage recreation of a famous painting. Now you can pick any painting of your choosing. If you have a favorite artist or a favorite art style, you can choose that painting to do. Or you can choose really any type of imagery that you wish to try and recreate. I chose to do Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. He's a post-impressionistic artist. Now what that means is in his paintings he has very broad expressionistic brush strokes in the painting. And I chose that because with the ripped paper collage, I can kind of imitate that type of really strong brush stroke that Vincent Van Gogh did in his original painting. Now you can use magazine cutouts, you can use plain pieces of paper and color them with markers, or you can get some construction paper to do this project. Anything that your creativity wants you to do go for it. This is a chance to kind of experiment with different styles of art. Now for this project all that you will really need like I said is colored pieces of paper. If you don't have colored pieces of paper you can always paint them or color them with markers to give them a color of your choosing. But if you have colored construction paper or even old magazines you can use those in order to find the colors to match your painting. You can use a glue stick or you can use regular drop glue, whichever you prefer, they both work. And then you need your base piece of paper. Maybe something a little bit sturdier. If you don't have a piece of cardboard or a stronger piece of paper, a regular sheet of paper will work just as fine. Just be careful when adding glue. That way it doesn't overpower the paper and make it weak. So in order to begin, Go ahead and grab any one of the sheets of paper that is a color that matches a color in your painting. And you want to rip it into small pieces. You can always rip it in half and in half again. You just kind of keep ripping them until they're very small. whatever size of your choosing. Once you have enough of all of your colors, you can keep ripping until you have the appropriate amount of paper, but if you don't end up having enough, you can always rip more later. So you can go ahead and start constructing your piece. What you are going to want to do is have a reference so you can look up the image of the original painting on your computer, phone, or anywhere where you can access it. Maybe if you have a textbook with the painting in it, you can always look at it. That way you can look at it next to your creation. So you're just going to want to add a little bit of glue around the edges. Begin placing it and just keep repeating and building until your colors match your original painting. You can even give it your own little spin if you wish. Add your own style to it and your own creativity. Another good tip for this section is if you have liquid glue and a paintbrush, you could put your liquid glue into a cup and brush the glue over top as a layer of clear paint to help hold down your areas. And you're just going to want to repeat this until your piece is finished. and you will want to repeat that last step until you feel that your masterpiece is complete. And I would love to see your final pieces. So please take a photo of your work and share it on your favorite social media, hashtag MBArtMuseum or hashtag KidsArtOnline. Thanks guys.